The implications of this being a demolition is that it was prepared. It took months of work to set it up for a demolition. The implication is the airplane collisions were part of the cover story. That's actually part of the cover-up of what was really going on. So I'm not one who will say, no, those airplanes weren't really there. They were just holograms. You have all kinds of wild-eyed theories out there that I believe are planted in the media specifically to try to discredit this kind of inquiry. No, so yes, there were planes. Uh, whether there were hijackers on board has been questioned. Whether they were controlled by people or controlled like drones. I mean, you can actually fly a plane from outside the plane. And so uh, there is some evidence that they were, uh, they were brought in and they were targeted. It turns out that hitting those twin towers with these planes was a very difficult option. Um, you'd think that they're just sitting out there, but the planes weren't st sitting out there aiming at the building. If here's the South Tower, the plane that came at it was coming in this direction. It made two, only two maneuvers. It tilted its wings and made one direction change, and then in the last seconds, it made a slight correction and it went straight into the building. And there was crosswinds. And so it's not line of sight. So it seems very likely to me and to a lot of other people that these were being uh, computer guided. And it seems, in fact, that they were uh, predestined to hit known targets in the building, like the specific floors where I mean, Kevin Ryan has done an analysis of who occupied which floors in the towers. And the companies that were occupying the floors that actually got hit by the planes are actually companies that should be on the suspects list as being involved in this. And it seems that this whole thing has a lot to do with the military industrial complex, uh, security agencies, various you know, who's who and who's NSA, who's CIA, who's the FBI, whatever. But I mean, and the military. Shadow the shadow government would be a, a sort of a name to put over it. That there is definitely, wh whoever it was who took the towers down had to have access to nanothermite, which was a military material. They had to have access to the buildings so they had to have high-level clearance